Hi everyone, welcome back to another Neon Surveys product review video. So this time we're heading down to Corrick and meeting up with Caesar to have a look at the product offerings from Trimble. We're going to focus in this video on the GNSS uh, product line uh, and have a look to see what technologies they've built into their equipment and how it works. So let's hit the road, let's catch up with Caesar and let's find out more about the Trimble equipment. Hi Caesar, thanks for having us down today. Um, it's brilliant to come and see what kit that uh, Coric and Trimble are offering. So uh, you've brought out today for us the R12i and the uh, TSC7 controller. So can you just sort of run us through a bit more about it, the features, its capabilities and stuff like that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so first, yeah, thanks for, for coming over. So it's, my, it's my pleasure. Um, yeah, so the, the kit that you have here currently, it's the premium version of our GNSS, which is the R12i, and one of our field controllers, which is the TSC7. Um, a bit about the, the, the R12i. So the, 12, the R12i is actually the cumulative uh, development of Trimble over the last 40 years. Um, if you're familiar with Trimble's history, we had a different setup and have a different casing for, for the receiver, so we changed everything to uh, magnesium, because that helps with tracking, with tracking signals. Also, for the last 40 years, the tracking systems, the mathematics, the building of the hardware that is able to capture signals just became better and better over time. So now we have something which is called ProPoint uh, technology. And what our customers like about it is that this lets you take points accurately, accurately um, and the canopy closer to buildings, but more importantly, repeatable. So it's not like you in the past where you would do that thing where you have to go behind the tree and go back real yeah, level, so, week so when, to measure when, a point, you don't have to do that yeah, anymore. So when you've lost lock before, sort of come out and sort of get signal and try yeah. and run back in, you, that, that's a thing of the past now. Yeah, and, don't, and don't do repeat, that. Yeah, no. You can repeatedly get measurements in tricky situations. In tricky situations, yeah. yeah which as, 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 as a surveyor, I think that's paramount to us. It's not yes. just about being able to measure it, but being measured to, uh, measure it to a level of accuracy that, you're comfort that we're all comfortable, yeah. um, comfortable with. Um, as a standard, it comes with all um, all constellations, so okay. we just give that as a standard to people. Um, have you ever got into that situation where you don't have a, a, an internet signal? Yeah, yeah. There, there's times there's um, uh, sort of yeah, certainly locations. Say when you when you're getting down into the West Country, where where signal is very patchy. Uh, yeah, it becomes fun and games when when you lose that internet signal. It's yeah. sort of you're stuck really. So yeah. so have Trimble got a yeah. A solution to that? Yeah, two actually. So one of the things that Trimble does for the customer, so we sell the, the subscription service for VRS, which is common, you know, it's correction, internet-based uh, correction service okay. system. Along with the service system, we offer customers the, ability, the, the possibility to get a roaming SIM. Okay. It comes from Germany, and what that does is, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, or in this case in the UK, you connect to the best network available in your region. Okay. Whether it will be EE, Vodafone, whatever. Okay, that's really useful. Um, E3, I think yeah. is the other one, um, which already helps a lot. So you don't have to carry one or two or three SIM cards, yeah. SIM cards with you uh, all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And the thing we do is we have um, a te technical team as a technology called um, Xfil, okay. which is based off an overall service called RTX. And what it does is, um, instead of getting your corrections from a network station over the internet, you get your corrections from um, a few geostationary satellites, okay. which cover the whole planet. What it does is, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you lose the internet signal, um, it will automatically switch to those corrections and it will let you work seamlessly to the same level yeah, yeah, of accuracy yeah. up to 10 minutes okay. without internet. And if the internet from uh, resumes, yeah. you, it will just automatically flick, flick back. Flick, flick so, yeah, it back. So, so those scenarios or locations where maybe on one part of the site you, you've got good signal and you go around somewhere else and be it buildings, trees or whatever is blocking that internet, sorry, internet signal and it drops out, it will flick over onto 
onto the RTX correction, yeah. and then when you come back, it will come back to the yeah. internet. That's, yeah. yeah, that's a really neat yeah. feature. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it, it's all about making sure that people are able to do the job with minimum downtime as as possible. Yep. Yeah, 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 no, that's cool. So about, about, about the about the R12i, um, yeah. The, the one other thing that surveyor is like, and it's useful. So if we can focus on this, I think. Yeah, sorry. Flick, flick, flick this out. Um, so all of the triple batteries for troll stations in GNSS, well, no, most of the controllers now. When you're picking them off the box, you can actually see how much battery is in, is in there. Okay. So there's no guesswork on on the batteries. You so, don't have to go through that game of the batteries is facing up or facing down. Do I have battery or, 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 yeah, or I don't? Or, or pick up a flat battery. Pick up a flat in battery. Go, oh, no, it doesn't matter yeah. what hour they, it is. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You, you instantly know whether you can actually do the work or not. Okay. So, and that's on all the batteries, both the... For the, the R12i, right, the, and S, the S series, the, 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 the X7 scanner. the scanners. controllers as well. Yeah, yeah. the TSC7 cool. as well. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really useful. That Yeah, it's a quick flash. You can see how much survey time you've got almost. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Trimble is all about making sure that people are buy a kit and run away with it and have the least uh, risk factors for the, for, okay. uh, that will prevent you from doing the work that you have to do. Yeah. So keep it simple. I like it simple. Yeah. No, that's um, controller. So this is one of the versions of the controllers that we have. This one is the TSC7. So it's a Windows-based controller, Windows 10. So we actually have it's essentially a computer with a proper uh, uh, keyboard here. Yeah. Nice big screen for people that want to have big screens. We have other versions, but this is the one that we are using um, today. Why is this important? Well, because it gives you a nice area of view for you to, to, to work with. Yeah. And because it's Windows, you, you know, you can load in everything else that you like. So, so, so what, like, like your emails or... Emails, Teams, so we use this to connect over <laughs> Teams or TeamViewer all the time to speak with customers. So we, have, we can actually have Teams meetings so on this. So you could almost do away with a company laptop and, and just have this. So some people actually use that as, <laughs> yeah. a, company, as a company laptop. No, so they, awesome. they, they will have Outlook installed here. Yeah. They will have your, you know, your financing software, whatever loads here. So you can yeah. do a remote connection to something else over there. Yeah, no, that's, that's it's, interesting to know. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice backup. Some people actually even use the... Hmm, Office software, Office Survey software, yeah, yeah. on the um, same controller, controller. because wow. you're out and about. You have no resources in the office. It's going to take you a few hours. Yeah. You have a cap the capacity to do it here as well. Yeah. And again, it just increased, increases that redundancy, that capacity yeah. to get stuff done. It's also nice to know you've almost got that backup there as well. If, if for whatever reason you were to forget to pick up, I don't know, power cable for your laptop and that dies, it's like, well, actually, I could jump yeah. on and, and use this so yeah no that's that's a nice nice feature that it's windows based uh controller um so we've obviously got a couple of batteries in the back um yeah. i believe from what i've read they're hot swappable is that the case yeah yeah, yeah. so they're hot swappable this particular controller comes with uh, four of them okay hot swappable yeah this will give you easily more than a yeah. more than a day's work uh, same as with the r12i yeah no, easily more than a yeah. day's work on both both um on both both of them so we've sort of touched on obviously the ability for this gps to work under tree canopies and stuff like that mm. inevitably if you're doing a topo topo with gps or or even a total station that matter sort of getting into some features to measure them uh, can be tricky because of obstacles or whatever or things like that what have you guys got in here in terms of making it easier, say, to, to get right into into the corner of somewhere? Is, is, is there a solution built into this? Yeah, so with the R12i, we've included um, a built-in IMU, okay? Okay. which basically lets you take measurements and stake out points, so it doesn't yep. matter, um, in, any, in, any, in, any in any inclination. And actually, the R12i is the most accurate receiver um, in, that, in, in that aspect. Okay. So you're looking at... Uh, not 0.4 of a mil for every degree okay. uh, uh, of error that you add on. Yeah. But essentially, what this lets you do is, if you want to measure a point like that, you can do it. Yeah. Not a problem. You so can go all a, the way down. All yeah. you really need is visibility to, 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 the, to, to, to the sky. To, to the sky, to the sky yeah. you know? So scenarios where we've got, say, cars parked over manhole covers, we can, we can tuck the end of it just you can in tuck on the end of it, and, yeah. and get that. That's, that's really Scenarios useful. where previously in the past to do corners of buildings, you will need to have a you know, measure like a two-point offset or do a this and do an offset. Yeah. Now you can just go, 
go go like this and instantly to. measure it. Yeah? So so it's measuring the point. The point, yeah. Not effectively the no. the antenna. No, so, yeah, no, 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 that's... no. And here today I'm using like a fixed a fixed uh, height uh, pole, but obviously if you want to like get an extended pole, yeah. just get an extended Extend pole. pole. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. No, and that's... again, it's all about giving the customers the ability to get more stuff done accurately and. And, and, Reducing and time on site effectively, and, yeah. and not losing that that accuracy on your survey. So yeah, yeah, no, that's brilliant. Yeah, now reliability is a yeah, and is a key thing with 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 Trimbles. Making sure people are able to work every single time with no problems about connections and internet and Bluetooth, none, none, none of that, yeah. none, none of that stuff. Just okay. care, care, right. crack on. Yeah. Cool, that's brilliant. Yeah. Right, I think, uh, unless you can think of any other features in there that is worth uh, talking about, I think probably the best thing to do is if we go out, sort of try and do a topo in the area, yeah. and, and we'll push it, put it through its paces, see, see what we can achieve. So, Let's yeah. go for it. Cool, cheers. So there we go, there's a nice little overview of the technologies that are in the R12i and how it works on site. Now, it's actually been a couple of weeks since we filmed with Season. We've actually had a unit on hire and used on a live job. So it's given us a real chance to have a full experience with the R12i and for Will and I to really sort of get our thoughts on, on what we think of it. So. As always, I like to sort of start with the negatives, end on the positives. So we can only really find a, a couple of downsides to it. Uh, the main one being with that uh, TSC7 controller. Because of the size of the screen, it is a bit weighty and the whole unit uh, it does, does get a bit heavy and, and, and a full day using it, you, you might start to feel it. But having said that, there are other options. There's the TSC5 and I think the TSC3, which are all smaller controllers, which again will reduce that weight and possibly eliminate, eliminate that negative. 
So now on to the uh, positives. Um, so yeah, we really like the IMU in the device so that you, you're not having to always make sure that the bubble is, is completely level and you can get into sort of the corners of buildings, into hedges and stuff like that. It, it, it is really much, very much that uh, you can forget about the bubble type thing. So that's a, a real plus for it. So the other positive uh, that we found with it um, is the SIM card actually. So that you're not having to worry about uh, picking the best network, the right network. And, and we all know that mobile phone signals um, can, can be better in some areas on other providers and, and worse um, in other places. So having that SIM card that will jump to the strongest mobile phone signal, again, just one less thing to think about. That it's a, it's a brilliant little feature, that. Um, another element that we really like and, and yeah, on, on all the batteries is, is that battery indicator. Not having to sort of worry about uh, picking up a, a flat battery, you can just check it there and then. It's a brilliant little feature that. And then the final really real positive that we found with uh, this, the, this GPS kit is the, the TRX signal. That signal that enables you to get those measurements under trees, sort of really close up to buildings. It, it's, it's brilliant. It's, um, yeah, so it saves a lot of hassle, a lot of uh, faffing around. To have to back out of a building, get a signal, run in, quickly try and get your measurement. It just, it just takes all that worry, stress and faff out of your day's surveying. So you get a, you're able to measure more in your day. So all in all, it's a really good uh, bit of GPS kit and yeah, we couldn't find too many negatives with it. So be interesting to see if uh, you guys have got any experience with the R12i and what your thoughts are. Have we missed some negatives or have we missed some positives about it? So yeah, drop some comments below um, and let us know what you think of, of the R12i. And if you're interested in the kit, reach out to Corec or Caesar. Um, on their social medias or, or give them a call. And if you want to see more videos from us like this, then sort of like, subscribe and, and comment below. And uh, I've tagged a few other videos that you might be interested in. And yeah, we'll catch you all soon on the next video.